Hi, my name is Esteban Azevedo, and I own Modern Physical Therapy. I take many interns every year at my clinic, and I've been a clinical instructor for about 20 years. So I'm here today to give you five tips for interns and in doctorate of physical therapy programs. Number one, be prepared. Know all the information you learned in school, forwards and backwards. Review it prior to the clinical. And even when you're researching clinicals, find one that meets your interest. Don't just pick random ones. Don't let schools pick them for you. Research the top clinics in your field that you want to practice in and set up those internships if your school allows it or read through the books that school provides that give you feedback uh, from other interns from that clinic. Number two, be open to learning. Even though you learned all your school information forwards and backwards and you know that, that doesn't mean that you are good to go. You want to start with that information and go to the clinic and learn everything you can from every physical therapist, from every physical therapy assistant. Anyone in the clinic is your resource, your resource to learn from. And challenge yourself to understand the differences of what you learned in school than what you learned in the clinic. It's not that one group is wrong. There's a lot of information out there and you want to find out what makes sense to you and what works best for you in the clinic. And don't question your clinical instructor in front of patients. Clinical instructors generally love questions. We want to hear your thought process. We want to know what you're thinking. We are there for you to learn. But ask them at appropriate times, at lunch, during breaks, at the end of the day. And carry a notebook and write down all the questions that you have because you're going to have a lot of questions throughout the day. And what I do with my interns is at the end of the day, I say, do you have any questions? And they're so overwhelmed, they go, oh, I can't think of any. Well, write them down throughout the day so you can email them to your clinical instructor in the evening. And that way they could do it when they aren't bogged down with other things in the clinic, they put their kids to bed if they have a family, and things like that. They can answer your questions when it's most convenient to them. Number three, be the hardest worker in the clinic. You'll get what you put into the internship. The harder you work, the harder everyone else is going to help you learn. You can choose to coast through your clinic and pass, or you can be the hardest worker and you can earn a job reference, a job offer, you'll gain more confidence, and you'll be able to get more patients on your schedule when you show that you're competent in the clinic and you're putting in the hours. So I always like to see that the interns are the first there to get there in the morning and the last to leave. Yeah, I know you're not paid and it's a lot of work, but you're paying for the school and the clinic's not getting paid. So get the most experience you can from your internships. Number four, make a connection. Physical therapy is all about connections. Learn how to connect with the patients. Look at the clinical instructor that you have. Look at the other PTs and look and learn who has the best interpersonal skills that are connecting with patients, who's able to adapt their own personality and connect with different types of patients, how they Respond to a young athlete different than an older patient, different than a patient who has chronic pain, and learn how to adapt your personality just as they do. Also, make a connection with the other PTs. That's really important. Don't just rely on your clinical instructor to learn from, but learn from all the other PTs. Get there before your clinical instructor and work with the other PTs. A lot of clinics have different PTs with different specialties and learn from all of them. But don't forget the front office staff. Learn from them. Treat them well. Treat them with respect because you can learn about scheduling, billing, uh, patient relations up front. There's so many things they could teach you when there's other times that uh, you're not learning physical therapy related skills in the back office. Work with the front office. And you know what? Every time I hire one of my former interns, I check with all my staff, including the front office. And if they didn't like someone, 
the chance of them getting the job goes way down. And then stay connected with these people. You spent months with them, learning from them. So even if you didn't get a job there, stay connected with them. It's so easy to do now with social media and email that there's a better chance if you're staying connected with these people for you to get a job or job reference or uh, they'll know someone in the city you want to work in and they'll help you out, especially if you were the hardest worker and especially if you stood out as an intern and built relationships and, and stayed till closing and did all the things in steps one through three already. And lastly, I highly, highly recommend taking continuing education courses. And I know it's hard. You're paying for school. You have school loans. We got homework. You got projects. But you can learn so much in a weekend course that's going to help build your confidence. It's going to help you understand how to evaluate and treat patients better. And a lot of continuing education programs uh, have a 40 or 50% discount. I know the International Academy of Orthopedic Medicine gives a 40% discount. When I was an intern, I took almost all the courses as an intern because I learned so much. And when I took a course, I'd go back to an internship and I would know how to do an evaluation and find pain generators and how to look for dysfunctions. And I'd know exactly what exercise to give and, and the type of feedback to do. And every course I took, my hands got better, my differential diagnosis got better, my explanation to patients got better, and I was able to set up uh, my dream job right out of school. So I highly, highly recommend start taking those courses now. Don't wait till you're out of school. Don't rely on your employer to pay for your courses. Because what I hear from PTs out there when I go teach is less and less clinics and hospitals are paying much for your continued education. Just budget that in as part of your learning. Take two to four to five courses a year. You do that the first few years out of school, you'll be so much more advanced than people that are 10, 15 years out that hadn't taken those courses early on to start being able to formulate your critical thinking skills, manual therapy skills, and ability to create comprehensive exercise programs. So those are my five tips. I've got about a hundred more, but those are my top five tips for today. And uh, good luck out there and hope to see you at some courses. Bye.